What's up, people? It's RJ with Roads to Liberty. I want to do a video today talking about borders because this is directed at Trump people, by the way. Um, look, Trump's not the worst candidate out there, and it's hard to talk about best and worst when it comes to political candidates, but this is not a teardown video of Trump so much as just I want to talk about borders, and I know that Trump people are really hot on him for the fact that he wants to enforce borders. So I think that's wrong. I think we shouldn't have borders, period. Um, I know that's a lofty type of thought, but the reason why I'm saying that is because ultimately what you're talking about when you say border is you're saying people being free to travel or not. If there's an imaginary line you want to draw or someone wants to draw saying, well, people have to ask permission to go over this line. To me, that sounds silly and arbitrary and forceful. If I drew a line in the sand and said, you can't walk past this, this is my territory, you'd want to defy me just in the fact that I'm making up some boundary that you can't walk over. But I'm not a big army, I'm not a big country, so you wouldn't respect me, but you would respect a flag of another country. It doesn't be United, it could be Spain, it could be anybody. If there was a border, you'd go, oh, that's a Spanish border, I can't. I don't like that big groups of nameless, faceless entities get to have these land rights that are so big and sweeping, and they can exclude whole geographic, like, all right, if you're from this country, whatever, this area, you can live here, but if you're from outside, you can't come in. The only reason that exists is because people in government or governments themselves like to give out free things like welfare or food stamps or unemployment or whatever to their citizens, free health care. So if people are coming in undocumented or quickly, they're coming in probably to get those free goodies or the quality of life is great. You can move to certain parts of Mexico and for $500 a month have all your food, rent, whatever you're paid and live on the beach. So I think that's great. If people want to move there, the prices might go up, but that's great for the local economy that, hey, we have a really nice area People are allowed to come here, so it helps it helps people to have immigration. The only reason it wouldn't help anybody is taxpayers or the government because they're in the business of giving away free things, and you can't give away free things to an unlimited amount of people. Eventually, it becomes too much free stuff being given away, and it adds up. Because you can give away free health care all you want. This is getting to another topic, but the doctors still want to get paid. The people that sell the medical equipment to the hospital still want to get paid. So it's only free to the receivers of the goods. It's not free to the people that got to get paid to deliver the work. So that's basically the gist of it, guys. This is why I don't like borders, and this is why Donald Trump, this is one of the worst qualities of his campaign, in my opinion, that he is stumping for, you don't have to call it racism. It doesn't have to be anything to do with racism. You could just say he's stumping for an exclusionary, like we can just not trade with the rest of the world and not let anyone come into America, and we could somehow be okay with just factories here and you know, that's a really idealistic point of view. And if he's saying this kind of stuff without explaining how he's going to negotiate with unions and get them to take $20 an hour for their work instead of 45 when that's the competitive wages, if he's just going to force companies to stop doing work overseas, it's only going to raise the cost of goods and labor here in America, causing less jobs, causing a worse economy. So these are complicated issues. I'm telling you what I think. I could be wrong. That's why you guys can leave comments. Another guy in a comment made a great point about how stupid my earrings looked. That was interesting. I thought it was not really worth talking about in the beginning of this video, but I brought it up for his sake. Um, but the reason I did this video is because of another comment I got about why Donald Trump is good in another video I did. And one of the reasons they said was because he wants to put more strength on the borders and not let a bunch of immigrants in. So I get that, but I'm against it. So if you're going to tell me why, tell me why right here in the comments, and maybe I'll do another video. Blah, blah, blah. Back and forth. All right, guys. Peace.